All right, so today we are doing the White Domes via the Water Canyon Trailhead. So we're starting here, and it's about a mile and a half up to the Top Rock. And from there, we're gonna take the next trailhead, the White Domes, um, which is about a 1.4 mile hike up to the top. It's a little bit, it's a little bit more uh, off the beaten path than Zion, um, but we thought we'd try something a little different today and it got pretty good reviews. through the first trailhead. It wasn't too bad, although the trails aren't marked super well, so it's pretty easy to get lost. Um, or I shouldn't say lost, but off track a little bit. I think eventually all trails kind of lead to the same spot, so it's not too bad. The train's really starting to change now. The beginning it was all the, the red, yellowish clay looking rocks and now everything's kind of getting whiter and um, they'll, you'll see like the, the different layers. It almost looks like there was potentially an active volcano here a long time ago, the way that the rocks kind of formed. Um, these are beautiful too. Just right at the end of fall to catch the very last bit before they all fall. So the trail got really sketchy at one point and uh, we weren't really willing to risk it. Although the reviews online did mention that. So right now we're trying to find a new way up um, to get back on the main trail. So you never get old. Back on the trail, I think. Found something at least. There are some definitely some challenging parts to this trail. But Thank you guys. We're working through it as a team. Wow, what a Teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Made it to the top. Took a little longer than we thought it was going to. Started at 10, it's 1.30. But we had to uh, take a couple detours. Kind of an exhausting hike, I will say. Harder than Angel's Landing, but totally worth it for this amazing view. Wow. Also, less people makes it better. No people. This is so cool. Such a hidden gem. I think the whole time we've been on this hike, we've run into like two or maybe three groups of people. There's absolutely no one around. Um, and uh, it's a nice change of pace from... The hills are alive with the sound <laughs> of music. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna yell that when we were like walking through that, that valley earlier. And I'm like, ah, oh, no, I don't know. <laughs> but yes, it uh, doesn't seem like it's very well known. There's no one around. It could also be because it's kind of getting to the end of the season, but... It was a perfect hike. Would highly, highly, highly recommend it. Oh wait, no, we go this way, right? 
You're totally mad foot trip over here. Okay. Now we just gotta figure out how to get back down before it gets it gets dark out. But I think we'll be okay. <laughs>